Soybean Farmer. Sunday, December the 2nd. Well, let's see what this thing says this time. Well, uh, hold still. Uh, eight tenths of an inch here. Okay, it started raining yesterday, Saturday. And about, it came in about 1.30. Actually, it was about 20 minutes after I got the disc put up and the 4020 parked over there where I wanted it to sit after I finished this cut over with hopes of uh, drilling some weed out there. Of course, you wouldn't dare get on that now. It's got to dry out. <laughs> yeah, it's got to dry out eight tenths of an inch of rain. Uh, overcast. You don't get a lot of drying when you got overcast. And there is a forecast for some rain to roll in here this afternoon. I was looking at it on the Doppler, and it's down in South Carolina, mostly headed east. Just a few minutes ago, I was standing over there on the other side of the farm, and I looked up at the sky, and it was all gray and overcast. And I'm not kidding you folks, that was all of about 10 minutes ago. And uh, I came over here to the Allen field because I wanted to see how wet the ground is. And the sun came out which is great and I'm happy with that. Uh, this area right here, those hurricanes knock these beans down a little bit, but nothing I can't get up after it dries out enough to let me get into the field. Now, we looked at the rain gauge. I think we saw eight tenths. I'm gonna walk maybe over here if I don't fall down and I can real right the ground is just saturated. I can feel it giving under my feet. But this one spot right over here, I mean it's just almost like I'm gonna get mud on my shoes. But this spot right here, I'm gonna see if the glasses are picking up. You see the water in that ground just with my foot pressing on it there. See that? That little 3300 combine with its tires about there, that wide, will not walk across that. It'd go squish right in it. So, and this is not traditionally the wet spot. The serious wet spot in this field is over there. Uh, but I'm just walking around in here, feet are everywhere I step. I'm wondering, am I going to end up with my shoe down in the mud and my sock all messed up? Got on tennis shoes out here. <clears throat> but this field is gorgeous. We call it the Allen Field. I explained that in a video earlier this year. This has been the field that year after year after year is the high yielder. Last year, this field did a solid 60 bushels to the acre. And that was with no fertilizer. And the pH was off by uh, a point and a half. Of course, the lime that got applied on this field last April was way too late to actually affect what's going on here. It takes lime a lot of time to give you the benefits. I'm walking down this spot here, and my feet are just squishing in the ground. So I was looking at my work schedule, thinking about and looking at what weather forecast is. They had said rain this afternoon, but it looks like to me it's clouds moving right fast across there, headed. This thing's headed. That's due east right there. That thing's got some north direction on it. And Doppler had all the rain. That's due south down in South Carolina. Maybe it'll skirt out through there and miss this place. But they had uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all bright sunshine. Like what I'm standing. In fact, I can feel the warmth of the sun on my shirt. I'm out here. It's about 70 degrees. Some type of weird freak weather thing got going on. December the 2nd. Yeah, 70 degrees. Feels nice. Feels nice. I mean, here's a spot where there's pure water standing right there. It's a little bit of a tire rut where 
I came through here spraying. I probably left that. Because it's just been a wet year. I was... Uh, everything I've done this year on this farm has been dodging rain. It's been like that the last two years. But I'm excited about getting in this field. These... Uh, the weeds being knocked down with the uh, Liberty Link program, let the beans get out here and grow and thrive and make and produce. I'm um, standing in beans now. The tops are off of these plants. They got beans from ground up. Let me see, that's leaning up against my leg. That will go upside down or turn them like that. That's almost waist high on me. And that's pretty much the average across the whole field. Uh, when you've got weed competition, like I had the last four years, it really knocks your yields down. I'm thinking this field right here is going 70 bushels, maybe 80. Um, I never come to this field first because it could be some kind of issue with the combine. My mistake this year, I forgot to run the fan speed back down. Uh, that probably cost me five or six bushels before I remembered what my mistake was and fixed it. I sure wouldn't have wanted to have, wanted to have been in this field and made that mistake. But the, the ground's good and smooth. I don't have erosion problems over here. I don't have any big ruts to be jumping across. I just need it to dry out so I can roll across it without coming out here and sinking that combine down on the, um, on the frame. But I'm thinking, looking at my work schedule and looking at the weather thing, that Friday's going to be the day to uh, tell the boss man that I'm taking off to cut beans. Day Sunday. And that would give uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's four good days. And if it don't rain here today, we'll go ahead and call this five days of no rain. Get out here Friday and 220 bushels on that truck is loaded. It don't drive right when it's got that much weight on it. It don't feel right to me. But if I can get, uh, this field is about five and a half acres. <coughs> but if I can get out here and get just as much of this field cut, get that truck good and full, and get to the mill with it on Friday, that'll be another uh, home run home run bases loaded kind of thing. I've still got 19 acres to pick. Uh, this field I've walked out here, the Allen field that I'm standing in, sinking down in the ground in, and across the meadow strip there, a little two acre piece there. There's a two acre piece over there, and six acres back there. That's gonna be the last field I go into, because that feels weak, it's puny, it's pitiful. That was the last field planted. It was way late planted. We went through uh, 21 days of drought superheat in June. Talk about odd, strange weather that was. And that field just got a really pitiful start. And it's had a hard time struggling through this year. But anyhow, that's a little update of what's going on here on the uh, little farm down here in central North Carolina. I'm going to get them. I'm not freaking out. It's going to dry out in here, and I'll get in here. In fact, see, there's a good wind blowing. That, that'll help be positive about all this. Wind and sun. Turn me loose. Thank you. All right, back in squishy ground. If I can get over here without messing up my shoes, my socks. Whoa. Tell you, when you put your foot down on the ground you expect the ground to support your foot and it keeps right on giving away that can sure mess with your balance everybody thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos band-aid stay stuck thank you uh, leave me comments I enjoy reading them and everybody have a blessed and wonderful evening bye y'all